Good evening, brothers and sisters. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the word of the Lord. And blessed be the coming of the Lord. Just wanted to get on here real quick, man, and share a little, little encouragement. Something that's on my heart right now because I'm seeing a whole lot of brothers and sisters in Christ, true brothers and sisters in Christ. We should we should be able to identify who they are by their fruit, right? So our spirits identify with theirs. I'm seeing a whole lot of brothers and sisters in Christ that are lose are losing this battle because they the devil's a time snatcher. What he wants to do is get you occupied with arguing with people that are lukewarm and arguing with people that are lost instead of just laying the message at their feet and then moving on. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing a lot of Christians that are trying to defend their anointing and trying to defend their you know their fruit and trying to defend their ministries and what they don't understand is that's not the purpose of, for us being here. God put us here to win souls. Not to win, not to win arguments. You know what I'm saying? We're sitting here arguing for nothing. It's in vain. You know the Bible says the people that are going to understand are going to understand. The people that are not are not. Um, if they're not filled with the, the, they're not filled with the Holy Ghost. They're not going to understand anyway. You basically, it's basically like talking to a wall. So what I've learned over the years is there's there's no reason for me to argue. The more I learned the character of God, the more I learned the character of Jesus Christ. Jesus didn't argue with people. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna read Isaiah 53 and 7. Says he was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a sheep before her shearers is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. Jesus didn't argue with people, even when it was his time to, you know, to be crucified and to die for the gospel, to die for our souls. Jesus died. He did it in silence. He didn't. He didn't defend his anointing. He didn't even defend himself against the Pharisees who were always following and accusing. So. Just stay on your mission. Stay on your game. Stay on what God has you here, for, you know, here for. It's not to win arguments. The people that are going to get the gospel, God already knows who they are. God sends us on these missions. I know when God sends me on a mission because He didn't. He doesn't have me stop and talk to everybody. There are certain people that He wants you to witness to, and there's people that that are lost and it's not too late for. There's people that are reprobates. God is not going to have us sit there and have an argument with somebody that's a reprobate. So just to encourage you, just keep stay stay the course. The devil is a time snatcher. I promise you, he wants nothing more than to see you argue with people for three, four days, four or five weeks, you know, hours at a time, wasting time. If you are truly anointed by God, you don't have to defend that. Jesus didn't, def didn't defend his anointing. He didn't defend the gifts. He just asked people, why do you not believe? Why do you not believe in, in the, the, the fact that my father sent me? Because my fruit speaks for itself. Love the Lord, love y'all. Now stay, stay blessed and stay on the mission. All right.